I'm gonna whistle for just a second. Whistle. Okay. I love it. That's it. All right. So, oh, I guess I guess I need to do. Okay, that. friends, I we're here. Friends. Yes. Okay. Do it. <laughs> I'm Midge. Hi, friends, and I'm Madge. And this is Midge and Madge Mingle. Woo woo! Okay, okay. Yep. We've discussed that woo woo. Just you gotta just deal with it. We did. Now, um, we are sorry. We were a little bit later than ten minutes. Um, if you were watching our Instagram live, we did yes. a kind of a sneak preview. Mm -hmm. Yes, a preview. But we were not aware of all of the fabulous goodies. <laughs> so we've been investigating. Yes, and playing with all of the goodies we didn't realize we had so much right right so we are here now though mm -hmm. and we're excited because what do we have today we have some amazing products from Cricut some new products from Cricut that we are able to play with before all y'all can get your hands on it and we want to tell you how amazing it is because you're gonna want it you are going to want it you're going to be banging down the doors as soon as it's released and yes. now this is a Michael's exclusive Michael's exclusive so make sure you get it there mm -hmm. when it's out. Um, and we apologize, you guys. If we They announced this, I believe, the 4th. But as you all know, we were out of town. So we we're coming to you now. Coming to you live from Mitch and Madge Studio. We're so excited to give you the goods. Mm -hmm. But we didn't tell you what it is. We told you it's from Cricut. Mm -hmm. We told you it's exclusive. And if you have really good eyes, you've read the stuff next to me. Correct. <laughs> Correct. But... Right. Just in case. Mm -hmm. Tell us, friend. It is the Cricut Infusible Ink, and it comes in transfer sheets. Transfer sheets. And <sighs> pens. Dun, yes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, So, we're going to do a project with both of them today. The sheets and the pens. We are. We're going to give you the 411, and we're here to tell you this. We opened our box. We love it already. We do love it. We're also going to say, be patient with us because we're hoping it all goes well. Right. We're going to follow the instructions we've been given. Right. And cross our fingers because we're doing this live. We are doing this live. So. First hand, friend. So get ready to grab out your notebook, your pencils, because we want to go over, you know, some awesome, awesome tips, awesome tricks. So when you guys get your hands on these, the, these this amazing product you're going to know exactly what to do and you are going to want to just dive right in Sorry, and start making all of the things so um yeah so without further ado let me just check to see if we have anybody that has any questions um we're just going to give a couple shout outs we're super excited for those of you that joined us this morning and we're super excited that you are back joining us now um yes. we would love it if you would share yes this mingle Go ahead and share it right now, because I mean, this is some big news. It is. It is big news. It's going to change your crafting world. Yes, it is. Because I don't know if you have ever worked with um, infusible ink before, but I know I'm going to say this. So I had one of my good friends say to me, so I really, really want to make, you know, shirts and things, but I don't like the feel of the iron on I don't like the feel of the iron on vinyl. Do you know of anything else? There's a couple different things out there, but they are really a little bit more, diff I guess, difficult to use. There's so many steps, but Cricut, you guys, has made it super easy. So her, her question to me, now I can answer it. So now I'm so excited because we can message her and say, Kathy, we have just the thing for you. We have it, Kathy. So we know that if we love it and she's going to love it, we know that you're going to love it. Yes, and I'm just waiting. Or our machine is almost up there, so I'll start. I'll start our first project because it will be ready when I'm ready. Okay. First, we are going to use the pens. Yes. And we did a little preview with you guys on Instagram, and if you missed it, you can hop over there. Right. But Madge, do you want to explain the whole like go? Like, how did we get this? How did we get that? Okay. So in Cricut Design Space, we saw that our coasters are. We're three and three quarters by three and three quarters. We're making coasters. We are. I just, spoiler, sorry, spoiler alert. So I created a square, a shape the in, same that, size. in the same size. Okay, and I changed the color to white. Then we went to, we went to the text button there and we changed it to the writing text because we wanted it writing. Our infusible ink 
pins are the 0.4. The 0.4, so they're the super fine point. They okay. also come in the, I think it's 1 point, it's 1 point I can't remember, but the fat tip so that you can color in designs right. also. Right, and, and these are the ones that we use today. And so we, we did the writing and we found some fonts that we wanted, mm -hmm. all right? Um, now, you guys, again, Cricut, they knew what they were doing. We wanted to use a couple of different colors. We didn't want it to just be a one and done. We wanted it to be fancy. Mm -hmm. And so when you go in, just like normal, if you've used Design Space before, you can change the pen colors so you can see what you're doing. They made it super easy because all you have to do is go in and change it to the infusible ink colors, the neon colors. And so you can see exactly what they are. So, or, so when we get ready to do this, we did three words and we used three different colors. Now each time Cricut has made it super easy, yet again, for when you go to draw or write your design. Mm -hmm. Now you guys, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have, this is very important, it has to be ink jet printer paper. Laser printer paper. Oh, not ink jet. Needs to be like laser this. printer paper. Sorry, I was so excited to say it and I messed it up. So, laser. Laser. Just your basic laser copy paper. Laser. Laser printer paper. So scratch the yeah. other. Stress that if you want. Laser. Laser. Printer paper. Laser. I'm so sorry. I knew I was going to mess it up. When you grab your copy paper, it's laser. It has to be laser. Paper. Yes. So sorry. Basic paper. Basic paper. Okay. And then they made it again super easy because they tell you when you go to cut it, okay, you want a mirror image. Do not forget, key point mirror image, mm -hmm. for sure. For sure. But then it also tells you, insert the blue pin, or whichever color. Right. So you put the pin in, and make sure you hear it do the little snap, and then you know it's in all the way, yep. and lock it in. Perfect. And then you just go for the gusto, people. And it will print everything that's that color, mm -hmm. but then it stops, and then your screen says, now insert the green, the neon green pen. Correct. So it gives you step by step. You can't mess it up. The colors will be right because it tells it to you. Correct. And then when you're all done, just eject, and you have your piece of paper. And Correct. Like your piece of paper that is an actual piece of paper that is a laser printer copy paper. Perfect. Basically. Thank you. Yep. Yep. So this is what it looked like when it came out. Ta-da! Our three colors. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do is we have our coasters. Now look at this. I'm all red-faced, you guys. I'm so sorry that I messed that up. I know it's I fine. did something wrong. Laser printer paper. Mm -hmm. um, so Cricut now also has some blanks, and some of their blanks are coasters. So we're gonna use the square quirk coasters today for yes. our project. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna get the other one out. And some key steps also to, you wanna make sure there's no lint on any of your projects. So you want to get like a microfiber, a lint-free cloth, and just give them a good wipe down just to make sure that good there's wipes, wipes nothing in. on there. And if you can see me in the light. Then they also have this handy dandy heat resistant tape. And this is what we're gonna use to tape our design to our project. Yep. So you just take your, do your, get your design and do it ink side down onto your project and line it up. I'm just making sure I'm kind of lined up. And I've already cut some pieces of the heat resistant yes. tape by Cricut. Okay, you guys, so while she's taping this, um, I did fail to mention that what I did is I attached, um, I attached it all. So after, after um, it wrote on the paper, then it went ahead and cut the exact size. So we didn't have to worry about that, which I thought was super easy and super nice because then we just could tape it right on. We didn't have to try to figure it out, center it all and all that jazz. Yes, I, that was nice. We didn't have to recut them out. Mm -hmm. So one, we're gonna, go, we're gonna do two at a time. So two at a time. Just gonna, again, ink side down onto your, let me make sure, yep, down onto your coaster. Okay, line it up, line it up. Now you guys, one top tip that we will suggest because we did have a little bit of a malfunction. Um, you wanna make sure that your paper on your mat is completely 110% smooth. Yes, make sure you're not gonna get any bubbles in your paper because that will make it stop right. printing right. and you'll have to start over again. Yes, 
And um, also you wanna make sure that you click on InDesign Space, you wanna make sure that you click in the materials, copy paper. Yes. So that's just another tip. Sorry, I got so flustered there because I knew I was gonna mess things up. You guys, that's why Midge gives us the important details, the important details right here, okay? <laughs> just saying, just saying. It's all good in the hood. Okay. Okay, so Madge, tell me what I need next. I've checked taped, with my Cricut heat resistant tape. I taped my design on, the design we printed with the Cricut infusible ink pens. Yes. I taped them on. Yes. Now what do I need? Something that's very, very, let me grab it for you. We need, oh, right here. Sorry. We need some butcher paper, friends. Butcher paper. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very important. It's very important that when you get this, you do not throw it away. And we'll tell you about where that We'll tell you about in. it in just a minute. But you want to take a piece of the butcher paper. Yes, ma'am. Correct. Mm -hmm. And you're going to put it down on your mat. Correct. And you want to make sure that your butcher paper is as big as the base of your heat, your heat plate, I should say, on your, yes. on your easy press. Correct. So butcher paper is down. Ta-da. Ta-da. Next. Now, Next. You're going to, here are my posters with the design taped on. Face down onto the butcher paper. So face down. Face down. Then what do I need? <gasps> then we need a piece of white cardstock. Yep. Awesome. Ta da. Yeah. Is that just one? Kind of felt. Yep. Perfect. Ta da. It's a nice I am so good at being Vanna. You are. This is Cricut cardstock. It doesn't have to be, but this is a nice thick cardstock. So then just place it down. Okay. Then we're, I think we're good to go. So 400 degrees. 60 seconds. Right. Then I'm just going to pick it up and set it down flat over our coasters Boop. and start it. And we're going to play the like Jeopardy. Yes. Doo -doo -doo. Go ahead. No, go. I'm gonna... I, I was just going to say it's very important, very, very, very important that you put the put butcher paper down on your mat. And the reason being is you want to make sure that you don't have, get any of the ink or anything on your mat. Bleeding through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't want it to bleed through. So that's that's important there. Yes. Good good note. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and one other thing. Notice Midge is not having to be yes. putting a little pressure on I it. I don't. I don't. Hands just free. sit and mm -mm, just, you're just going to let it do its job and heat everything up. Mm -hmm. Now, they will be super, super hot when I move the heat press. Correct. So you don't want to touch them at all no. until they cool a little bit. You don't want the ink to smear. You don't want, you know, anything to accidentally get bumped. Just when this goes off, we're not going to touch it. And you get to just chat with us for a few more minutes while we let it cool. Isn't that amazing? I know. Everyone's so excited. Right. Hey, that was one minute off. Ta-da. Ta-da. Now, okay. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm not touching. No, nope. we're just going to let it sit. We're just going to chit-chat. We are. So while we're doing that, we mentioned that they have... Um, the Cricut is now offering all of the different bases, that's what I call it, mm -hmm. for for the inks. So we did that. We This is the packaging now, but we did the coasters. We did the coasters. coasters. Yes. What else do they have, Madge? You guys, look how cute. This is a tote bag, tote a bag. blank tote bag. Now, I, I guess we need to mention mm -hmm. that it's really important in order for these fabulous items to work, it needs to be what type of material? Um, mostly polyester. Correct. Okay. It's very important on that. So they've made it really easy. This tote, you guys, perfect, folds up, how cute. And really it's everything that you need. So I, I really like it because it's, it's plain, but you can customize it to however you want, which is what we're going to do. We are, we're going to use something different, but if you wanted to use the markers, you could use the markers. Yes. So I'm thinking of my nieces and nephews, and I'm thinking of all of the fabulous drawings that they all draw me, or even those the school teachers. Mm -hmm. What a fun thing for like the room moms and things to do to have the, the kids design. Right. And then, ta-da, make something fancy. Yes. And I'm going to bring up another point if you want to yep. read, because it's going crazy over there. Crazy. Uh, we mentioned, so we used our Cricut infusible ink pens, and we used them in our Cricut Maker. We use them in our machine and it drew everything out for us. However, you don't have to use these in the machine. You can just draw. Um, I'm not great at that, but you can draw whatever design that you want onto the laser copy paper and laser then copy paper. 
Yep. And then iron it right on to whatever base you're using. You just want to make sure that if you are doing writing of any type, you want to make sure that it's a you do the a mirror image, image of that. Yes. So yes. Yeah. All right. There's that. Okay. So that's awesome. Um, we have so many people watching right now, and we are super excited. Thank you again. One more time. Um, we are using the fabulous new Cricut infusible inks. Yes. Now, Midge, why don't you go over real quick um, the exact when you're using those mm -hmm. markers there, the mm -hmm. pens. Yes. Because I messed it up one more time. What type of paper do you use in order for these amazing pens to work? All you need is some laser copy paper Perfect. or laser printer paper. Perfect. And that's basically what most are. Most are. Yes. yes. But yeah, just super cheap, easy laser printer paper. Perfect. Um, and then, and like we said, you def like we did, we put them in our Cricut machine and it designed space, all that. And we did a design that we really liked and it wrote it for us. But if you're super great at art, I'm not good at drawing, draw your design, draw your own design on your laser paper and then you can iron it right on. Yes. You have an original yes. work of art. Correct. Correct. And these again are the 0.4, so they're the fine tip. Um, they also make them in the in the fatter tip, so you can color designs in as well. Mm -hmm. A little bit easier. They do, they do. Okay. Do we have any questions up to this point while our coasters are cooling? I'm just carefully now moving my coasters. So we can okay. do another project, but we're not going to look at it yet because I'm going to move them really careful. Okay. Um, one more tip that I would like to bring up, you guys, is you cannot use the butcher paper on multiple projects. Yeah. It's very, very important. One project and then throw the paper away. Don't mm -hmm. reuse your paper. Mm -mm. Right. Ta -da. Okay. Um, okay. Yay, yay! I hope you guys are enjoying this because we we sure are. Like, like we told you, we're, we're fresh out of the gates. Yes. We're doing this. This is the one that is really like, you guys, cross your fingers, cross your toes, do it all. Yeah. Because all we are it. just going to go for the gold first time with you guys all live watching us. All live. And we're talking about using the infusible ink transfer sheets. Yep. That's what's next. And they come in two packs and four packs, mm -hmm. solids and prints. And we pulled the prints out so you can see... Um, so this one comes with four. It's kind of a speckle, a stripe. I'm going to call this like mermaid, mermaid. scale. Mm -hmm. And then the rainbow. And we're using mm -hmm. the rainbow today. Yes. And you can see how dull the colors are here. But, you know, it, they're going to be as bright as this box. Very bright and vibrant coloring. Okay. So that's, that's one thing with, mm -hmm. with this stuff. Um, also... You you cut everything the same way. Like if you were gonna do iron on vinyl, you cut it, you put your thing in design space, make sure mirror image. The difference is when you are putting your material down on your Cricut mat, you put it face up. Correct. One more time. Face up. Make sure you have clicked mirror image on and put your infusible ink transfer sheet face up. Design up. Correct. On your cutting mat. Perfect. All right. Um, one tip that I would like to strongly, strongly push and make sure that you guys understand this. If you have water on your hands, if you have water on your table, if you have maybe a Diet Coke that maybe is uh, sweaty. sweaty. Or sweaty hands. Remove or sweaty hands. Get that away far, <laughs> far away. Okay? Because Sorry. you, <laughs> because you, you guys, if you don't want any water to touch this. Mm -mm. Okay. See my, see my eyes? It's serious. Because you want the ink on your project, not, not on your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Anybody have any questions about that? Very, very important. I wanted to stress. Very, very. Yes. Okay. Tip, tip, tip. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to just rip this bad boy open and we're just going to go for the gold. Rhonda would like to know why you cannot use the butcher paper over again. Um, well... I'm going to say it's in case your transfer did bleed through it all because then it would go on to your next project. Mm -hmm. um, also, I mean, the paper does get really hot. Really hot. Hot, and it kind of stiffens it up mm -hmm. also when it gets hot. So those are the main reasons, I'm sure, is that just in case some of the ink does get on there. Right. That you don't get it onto your next project. Right. But 
Okay. It's just perfect. Um, Do anybody else have any questions? Okay, so okay, so you, you're saying right. that. We've yep. got that going on. Yep. We've got the tote bag. It's the 14 by 14 tote okay. that Cricut has come out with. And now, these steps are a little bit different, okay? Yes. So we, we used the pens, mm -hmm. and those steps were just a slight, slightly bit different, and now we're doing the tote, and we're using the transfer sheet. So the instructions are different for that. So you yes. guys want to make sure that you pay attention, okay? Here we go. Okay, so we have our tote here. I need some butcher paper. Perfect. And I'm just going to put it down like so. Like so. And then you want to just do, I better change this right now so it doesn't, or I can just watch for 15 seconds. Right, right, totally. Um, we're gonna put it on just the butcher paper and the tote bag for 15 seconds. And I'll know when it's time. Um, now, this is not really to heat up the tote because you're going to let it cool off. Um, we've been told it's to draw the moisture out. So if there's any moisture at all left in the material, this will draw the moisture out. So and there we go, 15, and then I'll just sit over here. So, and then you want that to cool, totally cool. cool. So we're just going to talk one more time, but we have Honey. something else that we'd like to yes, we'd like else, to show. What else did they have, Madge? You guys, look at this. Here we go. So not only did they come out with some totes and some posters and some other things, but you guys, t-shirts and baby onesies. We don't have any of those. We don't have any of those. Onesies, t-shirts. Yes. You guys are going to have all sorts of fun stuff to yes. do this on. Yes. And this one here is a V-neck um, t-shirt, and it's 95% polyester and 5% spandex and if you feel it it's like buttery soft material yeah like ooh, super soft and i'll tell you how you know that because when you guys get your packages of the transfer sheets you're gonna pull it out and it's gonna be Sorry. all rolled up like so all rolled up so you will notice the inside you get a piece of and this is their like their t-shirt material so soft mm -hmm. super soft and this is basically if you want to do a little practice or a little test on this sheet, feel free, but it's you can feel how soft their products are. Right. Then also you do get some butcher paper inside of your roll of the transfer sheets. So keep that. That's not just like a divider or something. Right. You want to keep the butcher paper. It is for your projects. Correct. Ta -da. Where can you buy butcher paper? You know what? I from my understanding, I believe you still can buy it at the butcher, right? Mm -hmm. I know I used to be able yeah. to do that when I was in high school. We had to make some signs and things, and I was and, able to buy it. And can buy someone tell me what, what's the difference between butcher paper and parchment paper? These are maybe things I should have looked up, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe we need to see if you can use parchment. I'm not sure. I think you can or not. I'm not sure either. But the only yes. reason I would imagine for parchment is because of the shiny. But this but. has a shiny-ish. Mm -hmm. so. I don't know. I don't know. But yes. At the butcher, Good questions. at the pay, I know the paper supply or like the party supply stores have it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I imagine Cricut has it. Yes, <laughs> yes, Cricut. I'm sure we'll have that. We're just we just know that that's what came in our little our little box here, and and it also came with enough sheets for your project. For your project. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so there's this there's is that. Pretty mm -hmm. much cool now. Okay, Georgie said parchment has wax. That's what I wondered, but I did not know for sure. Wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. So you okay. want to make sure you use butcher. Yes. So now we have a design. Oh, no. Well, uh, yeah. Hand me that. Yeah. We'll do that first. Okay. We'll load it up. So to make this easy, we're going to put get the mat, the, the smaller, the easy press mat, and a piece of white cardstock. And we're just going to slip it down inside of our tote. Like so, and this will bada help bing, it. Boom. Yeah, bada bing, bada bing. This will help it not bleed through again. Yes, Lisa. Yes, she said she does like the idea of the sheets and loves um, the markers fit into the machine. Yeah, too. Yes, mm -hmm. and yes. Okay, so we put the mat and a piece of cardstock inside the tote. Okay. Now we have a design that we cut out, and again, like we said, you do everything the same way on your on your Cricut machine and and cutting it out. Make sure you hit mirror image, but then the material, the transfer sheets need to go face up when you put them onto your mat. 
Face so up. design side up. Color up. Yep, grid down. Top tip, Midge, how do you peel this guy, the the, the, the sheet, before we, we before we weeded it, mm -hmm. how do you peel that off of the mat? Oh, well, you want to lay down. You want to peel your mat away from your project. Don't try to rip your project off. Put it down, hold your project, and peel your mat off of your project. Perfect. Okay. And then we have this fun design. Now, I wish I would have saved a piece to show you. This stuff weeds so easy. It's the easiest weeding material that I've ever played with so far. Right. And I would have showed you, but it was basically like, you know, I kind of did the roll, the little, little cracky, roll. Mm -hmm. and then I grabbed some, and it, you can basically just pull it off. And even for the little inside pieces, I just gave it a quick bend, and I, I mean, it was that fast. Bend and pull, bend yeah. and pull. Again, make sure your hands are not sweaty. Make sure you're not manhandling a Diet Coke that's sweating or anything right. else, okay? Right. Very important. Dry okay. hands, dry hands. Okay, we're, we're still loving at 400, that. okay? We're still, so there we go. we've got our tote. We've got the easy press mat and a piece of white cardstock inside the tote. Okay. Now I'm just gonna put the design side down on our tote. I'm just gonna eyeball. I love that. One. Okay, and hopefully we're straight. And you guys, how fun is this? This is our logo. So we are, we're, we're really excited. We're really excited here. All right, now get your handy dandy butcher paper. Oh, Jane said parchment does not have wax. It is used for baking. So you guys, we'll have to check into that. Maybe that's a question that uh, we could uh, send into Cricut and ask if that is, a, if, if parchment yes. is even an option or if it's just butcher paper. And we will get back to you on that, okay? Yes, we but will. We'll, we'll definitely we get will back to you. Mention that. So I put my design down so that the white side is showing. Grid is up. Put your paper. All right. And again, we're going to do the 400 for 60 seconds. And I am just going to make sure I have the whole thing covered. Hopefully I got it. And am I good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And start. We're going for it. We're going, going for, for it. it. Now. You guys, cross your fingers. I'm yes. just saying. I'm kind of getting some heart racing going on heart racing we hope that this is great well <laughs> you want to make sure that you don't touch it you want to make sure that you're not sliding it around or any of that business you see we're we're, we're completely like yes oh oh yeah i'm glad that you brought that up yeah i'm i'm sitting it down and backing away yep because you guys what's going to happen if you oh oh i i missed a spot or oh i want to go you're just smearing your ink everywhere. All so over. Don't do it. And also make sure that your design fit whatever size Easy Press you're using. Make sure that your design fits under the plate of your Easy Press. Yes. You do not want to have to press one half and then pick it up and prep. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Make sure your design fits in one one job. One right. and done. One and done. Make sure your design fits underneath your plate. Okay, I'm just gonna. And we gotta let it cool. I'm We're not, not even cool. touching. I'm not gonna touch it. We're not I'm even not. peeking. We're not nope. even looking at the nope. oh. I'm just moving that. Okay. Because it doesn't touch it. I mean, it looks kind of good from here. But I'm, I'm not, excited. I'm not gonna even. I'm not. We're not gonna even just. So while that's sitting there, would you like to unveil our coasters? Yes. Let's unveil our coasters. Let's do it. Mm hmm. Um, the tape was kind of hard for me to get. So I. Oh. Oh, did you get it? Okay. Maybe it was because I was trying to be so careful, but it's cool, so it should be good. Yeah? Mm hmm Okay. You guys, who is excited for this? Well, the first one came off super easy. Maybe I need to use my broken nail <laughs> to just get it to lift. Did you get yours? You did. Oh, no. Do you know what? Let's go with this. Peek on yours. Okay. No. All right. Guess what? I already know. It's because you yep. shouldn't put it face down. Yep. Okay. We are going to do a disclaimer right here. And we're going to redo these because we know that it works the, the opposite way. way. We, in the instructions, it says to put your coaster face down. But you don't want to mm -hmm. do that because we did make mm -hmm. coasters. And we put it face up when we heated it. We did. 
and then we were like, oh crap, we did it wrong, but they worked great. So we're gonna redo these and show you how to do it and make it turn out like this. Right, okay. because right now there's nothing. There. There's nothing because the heat did not go through the cork to heat it up. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do it the other way. Are you fine See with that? that? I'm fine with that. Are I'm you fine, fine with, with that? I think I, if you're fine with it, throw some hearts. Just throw some hearts. Throw them out there. Now I'm really nervous because we don't have a backup on this. We have not done this. That's why I said, cross your fingers, cross your toes. Yes. Cross everything. But it says it needs to be completely cool. Is it completely cool? I feel like it might still be hot. It's still it's still pretty hot. But but I can see it's on there. I'm not making the call. I'm gonna sit like this with my hands in my lap. I'm. Mitch is going to pull it off. <laughs> she can't wait. I oh can't. my I can't gosh. Freaking keep this is. I just got to get the dot off the eye and my fingernails won't do it. Hang on. Oh. You oh. guys. <gasps> just saying. Ah. I'm on. just saying. Come on. Throw now out those hearts. Them, now show them the rainbow, the, the transfer sheet. Just Okay. This is what color it is on the transfer sheet. Ta-da. And then when you iron it on, look how bright this is. I love it. It's on. I love it. It's fantabulous. In the meantime, hang on. We can let this get in a minute. Let's hurry and iron our, okay. our coasters again. Yay! We're getting all the hearts. All the hearts. All the hearts. Okay. So, so here we go. Which which order did we do it again? We did butcher and then... Yes. Okay. I'm going to take... Here. I've got another piece right okay. here. Perfect. And then a piece of butcher. Mm -hmm. Love it. Butcher. Butcher. Chapters. Now you guys... We're breaking the rules because we know this way works. We do know this works because Sorry. we did it this way the other time. Put this your design. Way. Here's our design. Design face up. Tape. Face up. Yep. Yep. Then we put a piece of cardstock. Cardstock. Now I'm just going to press for 60 seconds. Whoops. Sorry. One, two, three. And we're going to go. Go. Did I hit it? Okay, okay. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to the back. Up. Well, I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the mat in there because it kind of holds the bag mm -hmm. wide so they can see. You guys, how fun is that? You can customize anything you want. If you can design it, you can print it. Yes, Betty said because you break the rules. That's one of your charms. <laughs> oh, thanks, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you have to break the rules. You do. I mean, that's what they're meant for. Right. Right. Um. I am too. Okay, so can we cute. just say we are going to like have to have every design, every, every design. color, every everything. Watch and, out, Michaels. And we've been scrolling through too, and we have found so many shirts that we need. And now how easy is this? Boom. Boom. We can have a shirt every day. All so I'm excited. saying. I'm going to lift this up really quick. Oh, just kidding. It wasn't the beeper. In three more seconds. In three more. It was just back up to 400. Okay, I'm gonna lift that. And now I'm not gonna touch those for a second. I'm just gonna whoop, do that. Okay. So you guys, does anybody have any, oh, my eyes. Does anybody have any questions on or the anything tote. on the tote? Now, again, we're gonna clarify. We did the tote with the trans, the infusible ink transfer sheets. Correct. And I don't know, what is this? Oh, mermaid, the, the pattern's in here. It's mermaid rainbow. Um, is this is the box that we use? Yes. But again, like I said, they're also they also have solids. They do. So you can do solids or print slash patterns. Okay. So we have a question. Okay. Um, can you show how much comes in a package, please? Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna just show each individual one. So this okay. is what this is this package here. Mm -hmm. You have this sheet here, and then you get four sheets this size. So they're basically twelve by twelve, pretty much. Yes. So okay. four sheets of the twelve by twelve, and to do this design, you can show them how much rainbow we have left. Because they know now, I mean, they're all that size. So you get four sheets the same size. And we made this design and still have that much left. So we can both have one. Ta -da! Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. And the same, it's the same size sheets in here. 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. And it's two sheets in the solid box. And it's, so, you guys, I, I have to, sh I just have to show. Look how cute. Like, so cute. The stripes. And again, remember, that looks really, that like looks pastel, mm -hmm. but when you heat press it, it's bright, 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 bright. Yes. Okay. And I wouldn't love this anymore if I tried. Right. 
And it comes, it also comes, so it comes with the four, the four mm -hmm. sheets. And I'm not and even the sure paper. how many different patterns they're going to have. We're not even 100% sure. I've seen a few different ones out there so far, mm -hmm. but I don't know how many different pattern sets they're going to release at one time. We don't, don't know. Yeah, we don't, or we how don't many know. solids. Yep. It's a, it's a mystery to me. It's if a someone's mystery. on here that knows that answer, you go right ahead. Yes. Um, yes, and they do have super fun patterns. Yes, they do. Um... I just am so excited about how this turned out. I can't even really, it. one more time, very quickly, really quick. If you're just joining us and you're just tuning in, when you create in Design Space, okay, you want to make sure you you do everything like you normally do. And when you go to cut, make sure that you turn on the mirror image setting. Make sure you click on the what infusible ink transfer sheet. Yes. Okay. When you when you're picking as your material, as your material, then you want to make sure that you place it face up, face so up, color friends. up. Design In fact, up. I'm going to show on you your mat. It is so important. I don't. Here's our mat. I'm going to show you because it's this is important. It's so cute. You don't want to cut anything wrong. You want to use every square inch of this business. I know when we say face up, you all should know. But I'm just going to show you because I'm a visual person. <laughs> face way, up. friend. Put face it that up. way to cut. Okay. After it cuts, you want to take the mat and peel the mat. Peel the mat away, away from your project. Away from the project. This way. Okay. Ta-da. Thank you. Perfect. And no. it weeds so easy. I cannot stress that enough. Did you even need to use the weeding tool? I didn't. And you know how I love my weeding tool so much in my heart. But we did, I just did a quick, like, you know, little roll, roll, mm -hmm. and it, 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 one of the edges popped up, and I could just, I honestly could just pull it right off. And even the little center pieces that are so hard sometimes, like the inside of, like, a D, I seriously, I just gave it one little bend and grabbed it that fast. And it popped right off. We were done. Okay. So, it was, it was awesome. Awesome. So awesome. Okay. Now, you guys, um, well, I'll tell you in just a minute. One more top tip, but we'll move, when we move from the transfer like sheets, we'll mm -hmm. and then we move to the markers. We'll tell you one other top tip that's very important. Are they? Do we already heat those? Mm -hmm. We did already heat. We you already yeah. did these. Yeah. Okay. So as as Midge is gonna pull, she's gonna pull those up. I'm not yet. They're hot. Okay. So she's. Will you show up the pins one more time? Mm -hmm. So, friends, when you do this, you want to make sure that. You don't reuse, listen to me carefully, do not reuse your image like multiple times. Does that make sense? Like you need to cut, you need to cut or draw Like we multiples. were making four coasters. Correct. So we had our Cricut handwrite four different designs. Okay. Or, it, you know, four of the same design. Right. You know. You don't want, you, you. You cannot use the same paper over and over and over and over. You need four different papers. Are you, am I being clear on that? Maybe not. Maybe as clear as mud. You just it will it it your your colors it it pulls I mean, all the color yeah. to where I mean, it needs to be. Because look how bright this is. Okay. It needs to be all on this one. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Okay. I hope that makes sense. Yay, Jamie! We're excited to see you too. Very clear, says Betty. Well, I'm so glad it's because you get the match lingo. So, okay, one more time. Still. We're going to really quickly go over. We went over the transfer sheets. Now, this is a little bit different. The markers are a little bit different. You want to make sure that you use what type of paper, Mitch? Laser printer paper. Perfect. Okay. And two, they have two different sizes of these. They have a really fine tip, which is the 0.4, and then they have a little bit thicker tip. We're not 100% sure. I think it's one... I know, but yeah. I could be wrong. And it's for, for coloring in your designs, basically. Right. right. And we used, we were able to use the neon colors. These are the neon colors. Mm -hmm. And um, they fit right inside the Cricut. So if you want to see it in action, go to our Instagram page. You can see it. You hear it click. Yes. It does a beautiful sure. tutorial. <laughs> Got to hear the click or it's not going to work. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah. And there's those apples. Okay. All okay. right. So... Any questions so far, you guys? We're, we're, we're having a lot of fun with this. And don't forget all of the, I keep calling them bases, but I don't really know. Bases, the surfaces. 
Sir, yeah, what, whatever you want to call them. But Cricut now is selling for the infusible inks. Yes. We've got coasters. We've got the totes. There's t-shirts. There's baby onesies. And again, stressing how soft the material is. So, so soft. And super soft. Yes. yes. So soft. And when you open your boxes of transfer sheets, do not forget, you will have a piece like this in there of, of the like t-shirt material. And you can do a little test sample on this if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, also, you will have butcher paper rolled up with your transfer sheets. That is what you, you need that. Do not throw that away. Keep your butcher paper. Okay. Yes, the 1.0, yes, it does work in the maker, Betty. Yes, and you're, you are correct, not just for filling in. You are correct. The yes. 1.0, it does. It definitely works. All those, the 1.0 markers from Cricut, they still work in the machine. That is correct. We just weren't 100% sure if it was the 1.0 of the infusible inks that we've seen out there because we, we don't have them. We have, we have this particular one. We just didn't know exactly what size they are. Yep. We think they're 1.0, but we're not sure. Yes. Um, yes, Judy, I am so happy that you bought the large easy press as well, because it, this makes it perfect for those big projects. And even look, even these little projects, it works perfect for, um, another top tip, you guys remember, remember, remember what Mid Midge was telling you about the butcher paper having to be the size or a little, a little bit bigger than the actual heat plate. Yes, make okay, sure that's very important. your paper is at least as big as your heat Is it plate. still super hot? It's a little bit warm still, so I might be in trouble for playing with them, but I want to see. It's killing me. She cannot stand the suspense. She's done. You know what? I'm just going to let her go ahead and take mine off, too, because, you know, the rate that Madge is going today, you know, any, you know, it's fine. So there. We broke the rules, and it works. <laughs> okay? That's the way to do that's, it. you got to break the rules. You do. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna go there. So look, so now we have a fun set of four coasters for when we're hanging out. Correct. And we really love them. And we do love them. Do you know what? Can they even really see? You know what? Let me. I can get up. And I can it. lean. I can just lean forward. I don't know. You can't. You know what? Let me. I'm just gonna lean forward. It's okay. I totally can walk around. It's okay. Look, I can just go like this. Da -da -da -da. And you can tell me. I'm gonna tell you. I'm just just holding. 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 I'm looking. Holding, looking. Holding. Looking. Oh, I'm I see you get up. There's a little lag, so we're, we're apologizing right now. Oh, yes. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Drunk right. wives matter. Because we're saying it. Because they, they do. Mm -hmm. All wives matter, okay? It's true. All wives do matter. So we have those fun coasters that we did with the Cricut Infusible Ink pens. Mm -hmm. We have our awesome tote that we did with the Cricut Infusible Ink transfer sheets. Ta-da! And we just wanted to show you guys how like amazing and simple these new products are. Correct. And we can't wait to get our hands on some more. And remember, they're Mike at Michael's. Michael's exclusive. Mice's, my, I'm sipping that. Michael's exclusive. So yes. Be banging down the doors on release day. And there. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. Everything Other than doubt, it's awesome. Yep. And we're so excited. Correct. We need to make. All the shirts now. All the things. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I don't know. I'm looking. I don't see anybody having any questions. If you have questions, go ahead and okay. throw them at us now. We're we'll, waiting we'll, for questions. We'll give just a couple seconds um, before we say Toodles. so long, farewell, toodly boodly. And another perfect, other than I didn't get the tape off. Another perfect coaster. That they can't see from here apparently because of our glare, but... But we will be posting some you. photos. Yes, we'll post a so, photo, and I did lean up and show you one just a minute ago. Now, I'm going to say one more time while we're waiting for a couple of questions, if we have any, please share this video with your friends. Yes, because nobody wants to miss out on this. I'm no. I'm just saying. No. This is some pretty, like, life-changing material yes. we got going and on. And you guys, we did this, <clears throat> okay, we did this right here live. We showed you live. We yes. have not done it before. We were following in our instructions. Yes. And bingo, bingo. Bingo, bingo. That turned out awesome. Coasters turned out awesome. We are glad that we made a boo-boo the first time mm -hmm. so that we can tell you, we say, face up to iron. That's what we say. That's what we say. Because it worked. <laughs> On the cork coasters. Correct. 
Remember, yes, yes, yes. Now, I know that they do ceramic coasters also. The the ceramic would heat all the way through. So Correct. ceramic, I'm sure, face down. But quart coasters, face up. We ironed them face up and they work super. Jamie is asking, do you have to use the Cricut shirts and such or any surface? Jamie, very important, very important. It has to, you have to make sure that if you're doing um, shirts that you want to make sure that you have at least 95% polyester and 5% spandex from what we've understood. We've understood. Is that correct? Well, no, and we're not 100% sure on those numbers. That is just what their t-shirts are. But I know that they tested and tested and retested and Cricut's bases, Cricut's products have worked the best with the inks. They right. make the inks go on. They don't right. smear. You can stretch the material. It's still, I, this isn't really super stretchy, but I mean, like, like yeah. I can't really show you, like, I put on a t-shirt, but that it's in there. That yeah. ink is in there. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to crack or peel off like a vinyl might accidentally. Right. And this bag is polyester as well. So that's why I'm saying polyester is because it's not, That that's why I'm saying polyester. Yes. It's yes. probably as your main base, is, I guess is what I should say. I was just reading in the back of what this yes. t-shirt is. And ceramic. But also, um, on the coasters, to clean your coasters, guys, don't use anything abrasive or scratchy. You know, like steel wool or, you know, magic eraser business or anything, you know, a scraper. Use just like warm water or window cleaner for your coasters. Correct. You to clean them. That's all you want to use on your coasters. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think that's it. Were there any other questions? Um, nope. No more okay. questions. All right. So, yeah. Well, we appreciate you guys letting us break in for the second time today into your day. Yes. But we we had to share this stuff. It was killing us. We were gone on release day. Well, not release day. I guess announcement, announcement day. Announcement day. And we had the stuff that got to the house that day and we weren't home. So we had to play with it. And we had to share with you. You guys are not going to want to miss this. Yep. Run, run, run. Your little buns. And you've got to get all of the things. All of the things. All of the things. <laughs> The pens, the transfer sheets, the heat resistant tape to hold your patterns down. Mm -hmm. The coasters. The coasters. Everything. The shirts, the totes, have... the works. All the things. All, All of, of the things. Yep. All right. Oh, can you please repeat how to coaster? Yes. One All more right. time. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to let Midge do that because it was an epic fail for me when I tried because. It was in my mind and I messed it up. So Midge, you go, bada bing, bada boom. Do it. <laughs> okay, coasters. Um, we did with the infusible ink pens. To use the pens, you need laser printer copy paper. paper. Yep. So laser printer paper, laser copy paper. Um, basic, you know, cheap, easy to find. You can draw any image that you want. You can. But the best thing is, the pens fit right in your Cricut machine, go into design space like you would any of the other things with pens. Mm -hmm. um, everything works the same. Design it, print it, all that stuff. Make sure you click mirror image and use laser printer paper. Correct. Then when it comes out, you take, I threw them away, but your, your pattern and you take your pattern ink side down to your surface so ink down to your surface mm -hmm. and you use the new the Cricut heat resistant tape to tape your your printed project to your surface so that it doesn't move you do not want the sheet to move at all because that will smear your ink correct then you just put down a piece of butcher paper then you put your cork coaster and that's for cork coasters coke coaster coaster mm -hmm. face up so design up and the, pa the paper, some paper, the paper would be on top, but design side up. Then you put a piece of, oh, look at that, it's that Clorox white, so don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. um, a, uh, I thought I said Cricut, it can be Cricut. White cardstock on top of your coaster, then heat press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Now do not move the heat press when you're doing any infusible ink projects. Yeah. Place it and leave it alone. Yeah, the you easy don't press, want to leave it alone. Yep. And then after 60 seconds, take it off, take the heat off and let your project cool. Don't, don't touch it. Don't try to right. play with 
the paper. Don't try to move your design. Don't touch it. Let it cool. And then, you guys can't see this when I keep flipping around. It makes me sad. When it is completely cool, untape, sorry, untape your design paper. Mm -hmm. And you'll have these fun, I, I still don't even know if I can get close enough. And it's printed right on there. Yes. And we have a whole set and it's so fun. Yes. And you guys, for each different surface, if you ever have any questions about the Easy Press settings, where can we go, friend? Go to cricut.com forward slash heat guide. Okay. And it will tell you like the, everything you need to know, what kind of material, what kind of, you know, if you're using the pens or if you're using, I don't know, whatever Transfer else. for sheets. So you're using, yes. Anything, even the regular iron on or glue. Go to cricut.com forward slash heat guide and it will tell you everything you need to know right. for any project. Right. The, the settings that we use today are for the Easy Press 2. two. Okay. Easy Press 2. That's, That's what we use today. Correct. Okay. Um, I hope that that helped. Um, yes, Sean, hello, we are live. We are live. Hey. Second time in one day. Hey, Sean. What do you know? So, yes. So. It, it is. It's true. This stuff is amazing. Absolutely. And we love it. I don't know where, oh, our boxes are over there. Okay. Yes. Oh, right, this. If you want to just, yeah, have them up and at it. Up and at it. And love it. Mm -hmm. And again, sorry, you can't really see our coaster, but there it is. Yep. So get yours today, guys. Get yours, well, as soon as it's released, I guess I should say, from Michael's. It's an exclusive. Yep. Mm -hmm. Head on over to Michael's. Yep. All right. Are we, are we all the way? I think we're all the way. Okay. Now, again, we had to go back to old school because Switcher Studio is giving us a really rough time. So until we get the bugs worked out. Here we are. Here we are. Yep. And... Here, do you want to hold this then? Because we gotta push stop. Oh, I can push stop. I'm oh, sorry, I push stop. I'm just, I'm just sitting here holding the things like. Okay, I'm coming. All right. Oh, and more stuff coming later. Yes. yes. Okay. Oops. Here I go. All right. So, watch for the release date. You can go and get yourself some Cricut infusible ink products and have a good time. Print all the things.